hello there ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another episode of skywind 007 on today's episode we're going to be looking at this celestron skymaster 25 by 7 70 binoculars so um 25 is the magnification 70 is the millimeters uh diameter of each lens so that's what those numbers mean oh it's, it says so right here uh, 25 magnification and it also is water resistant so that's um that means that it can get rain it does not mean that you can submerge it in water that would be waterproof it would have to be ips ipx6 which this is not and this does not have uh nitrogen uh that doesn't mean it's a bad thing it's a uh, multi-coated optics so that's good for nighttime viewing it has a back four prism, so that's uh, it offers more clarity and more um, light absorption for nighttime viewing again. Uh, and uh, what else? It has a tripod adapter that's included, so I'm not going to focus too much on that. And it has a case, it has a limited warranty, and the diopter or diopter, I don't know how to pronounce that adjustment so that's on that's this only matters if you wear glasses and you have different prescription in each eye uh, which i do but it's not big it's not a big difference between my two eyes so it's not too important for me but um i'm sure there are a lot of people that have a, a lot of difference between their eyes so if you look here it'll tell you some more information again 25 magnification i think this is in german uh the diameter of the lenses the larger lens is 70 millimeters which is huge the normal size is 50 and uh, i don't know what that the degree so anyway let's open it up so it's a little bit of a uh, foam what do we have here I think this is the tripod adapter, which I said I wasn't going to worry too much about. Okay. So there's nothing else in there. And um, here's some more information. This is the instructions, but it's a generic. I can tell it's generic because this one has a zoom lever. So what else do we have in here? We have the strap and some clean cleaning cloth. And here is the carrying case, which is huge. And there we go. So here is the binoculars. So they're pretty big. I'm gonna take this off. This is just protection. Let me bring some other binoculars just for reference. I'll be right back. Okay, so these are the ones that the Celestron. And these are some other ones that I bought. I already reviewed these. And um, you can see that they're about the same as far as the diopter millimeters, which is good. And uh, these ones, the problem with this brand right here, Luxum, is that they're mislabeled. Or I should say they're uh, simply lying to you. It says 20 by 50. So this part is true, 20, uh, 50 millimeters, but the 20 magnification is not true. So by my calculations, this is a 10, 10 times magnification, not 20. And then the other ones I wanted to show you are these little ones. These are um, these are branded are Ador Adorgon, and they're labeled as being 12 by 42, which is accurate. So right away you can see the difference. Okay, so here's the only scale I could find in this house right now. So let's turn it on. Okay, so let's see the smaller one. 516 grams so this intermediate one 626 grams and of course the celestron 
so it's 1.2 kilos so 1270 grams and let's look at that tripod adapter okay so this is just for demonstration so I'm not really gonna use this tripod this is way too small and I would have to find a table so you can kind of angle it if you want it's hard to do it with just one hand because I'm holding the camera with the other one but there you go so that's how that would work so let's go outside in and see if we can capture some images okay folks so we are outside we're near this little river and I was hoping to see the alligator that likes to come out but he's not here today and we're gonna try to get some images so let's see if we can do that so let's try to focus on something okay there we go this tree right here that dead tree is that tree right there so let's go back in there we go and it is crazy windy so let's look at that antenna I don't know if you can see it there's an antenna there like a dish network or direct TV so let's look it up Yes, you almost can't see it. I, I only notice it with this. So, um, was well, it's a lot of wind today. So let's look at something else. Let's look in that people's home. You see those three lights? Let's see if we can zoom into that. There we go. You see those three lights? And unfortunately, our friend, the alligator, he didn't want to come out. So there's some white stuff there. Let's see what that is. So it's like a cable. Let me try to uh, focus. Well, I can't focus for some reason. What else can we see? Let's go to the other side of that bridge and see what we can find. Okay, so we are on the bridge and there is that fountain right there. So let's look at it. Okay, so there's a car over there, right there. So let's look at that car. Wow, I can almost tell what kind of car it is. I'm gonna try to focus. Yeah, I think it's a uh, Cooper, but I'm not sure. So let's go into the woods. Okay, so we are on the other side. That's the bridge. And that's the water fountain. And I was talking to these uh, um, walker, jogger people that they told me they saw the alligator just after I left. So we missed it. But the, the car, the white car over there, we're going to go around over here. We're going to test it over there. And we're going to find out what kind of car that is. So I thought it was a Cooper, but we're going to find out. But the closer I get to it, the more it looks like a Cooper. So let's test this. Okay. 
Okay, so that right there, that is a valve. Believe it or not, it's a huge valve, and that cuts off the water flow from the other side of the levee to this river. So let's go to that place and let's see how it looks up close. So already these are proving very helpful because when you're out in the in the wild, let's just call it uh, the wild, even though we're not really in the wild, we're still in the neighborhood. And sometimes you'll see uh, like a bulk of something there and you'll be worried that it might be an animal, something dangerous, maybe a, a wild dog, could be a uh, boar. There are boars in this area. So you, for example, that thing right there, that black uh, brown thing, kind of looks like an animal that's sleeping there. So you put these on to examine what that is before you get close to it. And as you can see, it's nothing. It's just a piece of wood, but certainly not a bear or anything like that. So let's carry on. Okay, so here we are at the valve that I told you about. So let's go up there and we're gonna use the binoculars up there. So let's see, let's look at the sky. Wow, that is beautiful. You can see the um, the sidewalk kind of zigzag. I, now, I know there's a sign over there. I've done reviews here in this area before. There's a sign there that says private property, do not trespass or something like that. It's over there. I can barely see it with the naked eye. So let's see what these can do. There we go. So I cannot read it. I was hoping to be able to read it, but I cannot. Let me put them on over my eyes. Maybe that'll help. Okay, so it does make a difference when you put it directly on your eyes instead of the... Um, the cell phone that I'm recording with so you you can't see it reads private property and then it reads something else but I can't see the bottom part okay so um, some of my neighbors on the other side of this uh, whatever that is or stream they have a truck there so let's see if we can look at them Okay, so it's some kind of work truck. It's not a it's not a normal truck. It's a, and then there's a camper there. Okay, so let's go find that Cooper. So that's the what I think is the Cooper, which is right there. Yeah, it's definitely looking like a Cooper. We were right. It is a Mini Cooper Countryman. Okay, so before we run out of light, um, I brought the tripod here, and we're going to be taking a look at that Mini Cooper, and I, I bought, um, I brought, I should say, two binoculars, and one of the good things about this Celestron bag is that it's big enough to fit both the, um, the Celestron Skymaster binoculars and my other binoculars, my 10 times binoculars. Okay, so these are the 10 times binoculars, not the Celestrons. We're going to do those later. First, we're going to do this 10 times, uh, which are the fake. They were supposed to be 20 times, but um, I got scammed. So we're going to look at that Mini Cooper and see how that works. So remember, my camera is going to be at one times. So it's right there. This is one times.
and that's it right there. So that's the Mini Cooper uh, 10 times. So now let's do the Celestron 25 times. Okay, so here are the Celestron 25 times. So let's look at the Mini Cooper. Cooper. And there we go. Um, a little bit of a side note, I've been out here for a while enjoying these, um, binoculars, Celestron binoculars, so I've been watching around the, you know, looking at the birds, the trees, I was hoping to see the alligator, and one of the things that I've noticed, and I'm not surprised, I mean, I got my, my, uh, tripod over there, and my bag over there, is that, I am getting a lot of unwanted attention when um, I'm a 43 year old man and um, I'm looking at the lake with binoculars and I, I do see a lot of people that seemed uh, I guess concerned about my presence if not offended by my presence but either way that's something to keep uh, keep in mind if you're gonna get these this is the very first day I have them so I haven't had them for that long. And yeah, you walk out in this area where somebody can see you and definitely you get a lot of attention. And not the good kind of attention. Like nobody's asking me what kind of binoculars these are. They're just staring at me and uh, the, the cars. They kind of slow down to see what I'm doing. So that's something to keep in mind if you're going to get this. Of course, I'm not going to use these... In, around the neighborhood because there's not a lot to see over here I'm gonna be going in that direction and I know you can't see that place it's a few miles a few it's like 10 or 15 minutes in that direction where there's a lot of trees it's a wooded area so it might be less concerning to see a man a 43 year old man with binoculars over there where there's just trees trees and more trees because there's a trail but in this area, I'm already seeing a car over there. If you look over there, there's a car in the middle of the street. You can see their flasher. There, there's no stop sign there. They're not supposed to be there, like in the middle of the streets. So yeah, the car's still over there. Because I'm still over here. So hopefully we won't hear any sirens. In any case, um, yeah, I'm, um, I was expecting that to happen, but I didn't think it would happen so soon that anybody would be bothered by my presence with a pair of binoculars. And it doesn't make too much sense, because if I wanted to commit a crime, like if I was going to break into a house or do something bad, I don't think this would be of any use at all. I certainly wouldn't bring it here. But what can we do, you know? Okay, folks, so it's nighttime, and our alligator was right there. You all, you missed it. Let's see if he comes back. There he is. And that's our alligator right there. Okay, folks, so we're back indoors, and um, the last thing I want to look at right now is this. So this is very simple, nothing special about it. So I'll tie this up later. I don't think this is that important for you to see. 
um, but I want to give some final thoughts. I'm going to make this an ongoing review. This is going to be part one um, because I didn't get a chance to look at the moon and I wanted you to see the moon. So I'll do that on part two. And I can um, I cannot get the moon shot right now. Overall, right now, I am 100% happy I spent $103 on this. And let's just say $100. And um, for that price, I'm 100% happy. And the reason why I say that is because if you were to go to Academy Sports and Outdoors or you would go to um, one of those uh, sports, sports uh, center stores like Academy or um, Sports Authority, or I forget the name. There's one at the mall that is all about sports. You're going to see behind their their uh, counter case um, all these uh, regular binoculars for $120, $150, even $200 for binoculars that only have 10x magnification. And, um, and remember, this I only paid $103 for, and it's 25x magnification. Thank you for watching, subscribe, and thumbs up.